Welcome to video 4 for this unit on quadratic equations. In this video, we're going to focus on the quadratic formula. Some quadratic equations can be solved quickly by rewriting an expression in factored form to use the zero product property or by completing the square, but many cannot. The quadratic formula can be used to find the solutions to any quadratic equation including those that are tricky to solve with other methods. For an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, where a, b, and c are numbers, and a is not equal to zero, the solutions are given by x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2 times a. Here is an example. 5x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0. For this equation, we see that a equals 5, b equals negative 3, and c equals negative 1. Let's solve it. First, we substitute the values of a, b, and c into the quadratic formula. Then, we evaluate each part of the expression. So, x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 29 all over 10. A calculator gives the approximate values of x as 0 0.84 and negative 0 0.24. The quadratic formula made this equation more readily and precisely solvable. Here's another example. Function h models the height of an object in meters t seconds after it is launched into the air. To know how much time it would take the object to reach 15 meters, we could solve the equation 15 equals negative 5t squared plus 25t. How should we do it? Rewriting it in standard form gives negative 5t squared plus 25t minus 15 equals 0. Let's use the quadratic formula with a equals negative 5, b equals 25, and c equals negative 15. The expression negative 25 plus or minus the square root of 325 all over negative 10 represents the two exact solutions of the equation. We can also get approximate solutions by using a calculator. The solutions tell us that there are two times after the launch when the object is at a height of 15 meters, at about 0.7 seconds as the object is going up, and 4.3 seconds as it comes back down. The quadratic formula has many parts in it. A small error in any one part can lead to incorrect solutions. Suppose we are solving 2x squared minus 6 equals 11x. To use the formula, let's rewrite it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, which gives 2x squared minus 11x minus 6 equals 0. What errors do you see? One error is understanding negative b. For this equation, a equals 2, b is negative 11, and c is negative 6. So negative b is the opposite of negative 11, or 11. Another error is in the denominator. The denominator should be 2a, which is 2 times 2, or 4. What errors do you see in the next step? A common error is forgetting that squaring a negative number gives a positive number. Negative 11 squared is positive 121, not negative 121. Another error is forgetting that a negative number times a positive number is a negative number. 
4 times 2 times negative 6 is negative 48. And 121 minus negative 48 is 121 plus 48. Here is another example. What is the error? Another common error is making calculation errors or not following the properties of algebra. Both parts of the numerator, the 11 and the square root of 169, get divided by 4. Also, the square root of 169 divided by 4 is not the square root of 42.25. Let's finish by evaluating 11 plus or minus the square root of 169 all over 4 correctly. So x equals 6 and x equals negative 1 half are solutions to the equation 2x squared minus 11x minus 6 equals 0. Thank you for watching video 4 of 6 for this unit on quadratic equations.